Hi, I'm Charlie Hensley, inventor of the Soul Dryer 6, and this is my son, Cody. We're gonna show you how to start the Soul Dryer 6. Step one, check all the surroundings to ensure the area is safe for starting the machine. Also ensure that the hitch pin is properly secured. Step two, check all PTO shafts, dry shafts, hydraulic lines to ensure they are properly secured. Step three, attach the safety chain from the machine to the tractor. Step four, turn the battery disconnect key on located on the non-operator side toolbox. Step five, make sure the hood is in the down position before starting the machine. Check to see that there is tension on the winch cable, then remove the hood pin that attaches the safety arm to the hood. Then lower the safety arm to its stored position and insert the pin to hold it in place. Step six, lower the hood by using the selector switch on the winch control box. Step seven, pull all e-stops out. They are located at the main control panel. Step eight, on the handheld remote, ensure that all functions are in the off position and the e-stop is pulled out. Step nine, on the handheld remote, hold in the green button located on the back left side until all lights flash on the remote. Once it's flashing, release the button. The green TX light and the yellow RX light should continue to flash. The remote is now functional. Step 10, turn the power on to the camera monitor. Step 11, check the emergency gas shutoff knob located on the operator side tank box and ensure it is pushed in. Step 12, turn the manual ball valves on located inside the tank box on each of the four tanks. Step 13, open the red tank safety valves by pushing the lever to the left showing open. Step 14, on the control panel, check to see that all the selector switch for the fan on and the burner on are in the off positions. Step 15, start the machine using the key start located on the operator control panel. Step 16, let the machine run until the tank pressure gauge reaches a minimum of 80 PSI. Step 17, turn the fan selector switch to on. The green light above the switch should be on. Step 18, turn heat selector switch to on. The green light should come on in a few seconds. Step 19, now you need to determine your tiller depth by placing the correct number of locking collars on the hydraulic cylinders. The more locking collars you take out, the deeper the tiller goes. Step 20, with the tiller in the up position and the tractor at idle, you can now engage the PTO on the tractor. Quick note, the tractor must be at idle anytime the PTO is engaged or damage will occur to the shafts. Step 21, bring the PTO RPMs up to 540 RPMs. Step 22, lower the tiller into the ground and proceed with your drying application. Step 23, when you reach the end of your drying pass, raise the tiller. Another quick note, if your turning radius is not sharp, you may choose to leave the tiller in the down position, but we recommend you lift the tiller anyway. Step 24, on the handheld remote, select the required drying temperature by selecting high heat to on and adjusting the flame control knob to the desired setting. Step 25, if no heat is required, leave high heat off and turn on the auxiliary fan switch. You are now operational. To recap, the tractor must be idle anytime the PTO is engaged or damage may occur to the drive shafts. For best results, slower ground speed is recommended. Be sure to turn off the battery disconnect when finished using the machine to prevent battery drain. If you have any more questions, don't hesitate to call us at 606 346-9465 or email us at charlie at trackdryer.com.